All right, coming up next for the UFC middleweight championship of the world. Between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Paolo the Eraser Costa. gold at home to prove it, but many believe on any given Saturday night you are looking live at the best middleweight on this roster, the Brazilian Paulo Costa, the artist formerly known as Bo Hashinha, but man has he been erasing UFC competition left and right. His fight against Yoel Romero will be one that they are talking about deep into the next century. This man is the total package and tonight looks to inch one step closer to future UFC gold and blue. Sports athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense. Simply put, that he's got to have. for this middleweight championship fight. Costa is 29, Adesanya is 31. He is three inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Paolo the Eraser Costa. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender. for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. That one's the game. 
Nice play. And they are exchanging leather early. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all those. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Ooh, what a punch. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there. But as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Another shot lands upstairs. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Two minutes to go in the round. <laughs> Slips the punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Beats a big knee. <laughs> and landed some nasty strikes. And now he's got that tight punch. Boy, tight plump. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Costa. One minute now to go in round one. Single collar tie now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Slips the punch nicely there. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. My goodness. Oh, big left hook there. We're going at it now. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, with that, we now present round two. Israel Adesanya versus Paolo Costa. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, nice slip, and then the counter for him there. And I know DC's in the monologue is, man, can I just be the longer fighter in one UFC matchup? I get it, man. Punch is blocked. So 50 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. And landing with 35% accuracy thus far against Israel Adesanya. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. That's a big strike right there. And they separate. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, tags him with the left. So wow! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. The jab hurt him a little bit. Missed with that right hand. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here. And you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Caught that kick there. They separate. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting him down. Oh! Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Adesanya. 72 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Israel Adesanya. Three minutes remain in the round. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Blocks the shot. Costa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. gets up, but he looks dazed, he looks confused. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of controlling positions. You're not gonna roll around and scramble to get this guy off of you. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and find that choke, and if you're not careful, he will latch onto an arm, when you think you're right about to escape and get you with the armbar. Costa's back in full mount. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Beautiful punch. Fifteen seconds. Nice.
Nice kick there by Adesanya. Yeah, left hook found its target. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that... Oh, oh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Big kick land. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Big knee there. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, I can't think of a worse place in the world to be when you are tired than the world-famous Octagon. We got two fighters who are nearly gassed out here, champ. Both of them are exhausted, and they are questioning what they did wrong in the preparation for this fight. Or did they get in the Octagon and just go crazy? You gotta manage the cardio if you're gonna be able to fight. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 22 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still UFC middleweight champion of the world. He has retained this title at 185 pounds for some time and, and showing no signs of slowing down. This is a weight that hasn't had many middleweight champions. Anderson Silva reigned for so long that 